This video demonstrates how to install XAMPP, pronounced SHAMP, for Windows. This video was recorded in January of 2016. Direct your browser to apachefriends.org and click the download button for SHAMP for Windows. This is the current stable release of the software. Once the software is downloaded, launch the installer. When asked if you want to allow the software to make changes to your PC, click Yes to proceed. Also during the installation, you will probably see a user account control warning about installing XAMPP to the program files folder. Click OK to proceed. Click Next on the first screen to begin the installation process. During the installation, you will be shown a full list of software that can be installed. You do not need all of these options. Turn off the options shown in the video and leave only the necessary options selected. In the server group, leave only the Apache and MySQL boxes checked. In the Program Languages group, leave only the PHP box checked. In the bottom Program Languages group, leave only the PHP MyAdmin box checked. All other checkboxes can be cleared. In the next screen, you will be asked to choose an installation location. The default should be C colon backslash XAMPP. If it is anything other than this, change it to this address. On the next screen, turn off the checkbox asking if you want to learn more, then click Next. Finally, click Next to actually install the software. When the installation is complete, close the installer by clicking the Finish button. XAMPP should automatically start and the Apache server running. However, if the control panel shows an error, the most common issue is that there is already a web server running. You will have to stop it, then try starting the Apache server in XAMPP. Launch your task manager by holding down Control, Alt, and Delete keys all at once. Click on the Processes tab and look at the background processes. If you see an Apache web server running, click it to select, then click the End Task button in the bottom right hand corner. When this process disappears, go back to the XAMPP control panel and try starting the Apache server again. When the Apache server runs, the word Apache will have a green background and the port numbers 80 and 443 will be shown. The database server has to be manually started. Click the Start button to the right of the MySQL text. If it starts, it will also have a green background, and the port 3306 will be shown. If the icons turn green for both servers, XAMPP is running and you should now be able to check its operation. Click the Admin button on the Apache row. A browser window should open on your local machine indicating that everything is installed and operating. Notice the address bar says Localhost. That is the name of your machine. If things do not work as shown, consult the troubleshooting section of the written tutorial. 
In order for you to build your own web pages, you will have to place your pages and other files in the web root folder. Go to the C drive of your computer and then find the ZAMP folder. In it, you will find an htdocs folder. This htdocs folder is the root folder and is where you will build your website. In order to work here, with your text editor, you will have to point it, meaning the text editor, to this same file folder. That's it. Champ should now be working. You know where the site root folder is located, and you should be ready to get started. When you are done using Champ, it is very important that you shut it down. Leaving it running uses computer resources that are not needed and can pose a security risk to your computer. Run Champ only when testing your own website with PHP. To quit Champ, return it to the Champ control panel and click the Stop button for each server module that is running, that is, it has a green background. When both servers report that they have stopped, then quit Champ.